Hey everyone, it's Carolyn Edland. I'm the founder of Artsy Shark. Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in the business of art, you'll probably find some interesting videos here. So please become a subscriber. And if you enjoy these videos, give them a like so other people will find them more easily. I have a topic I wanted to make a video on this week, and it's about selling art online. I've had a number of different people ask me, is it possible to make a living as an artist by only selling my work online? And I do have an opinion about that. Although I wouldn't say that it's impossible, I think that it is less likely if you're only doing online sales. I would highly recommend that although every artist who's serious does need an online presence, that what you should be doing is a hybrid model. And by that, I mean using several different streams of income to sell. For example, live in person and online are nice compliments to each other and they'll help you develop those relationships that you need with potential customers and collectors and cultivate them over time by reaching out over and over again and doing that online or in person again. For example, if you do art shows, fairs and festivals, or you have an, a studio sale, people come in, they meet you, they see your work in person, and there is no replacement for that kind of in-person contact and, and real life experience of seeing your art and getting to know you and, and understanding what you do and falling in love with what you make. That is your gold standard for the best way to show your work. Will they buy from you at that point? Well, maybe, but the odds are that they won't because most sales don't happen the first time that people are exposed to your work. Get their email address, keep them on your list, pull them to your website, follow them on social media, get them to follow you and continue to expose them to your work online, which they've already seen in person and invite them back to your studio again if they're local. So keep this kind of a multi-stream and multifaceted approach to cultivating customers. If you are only online, there are a couple of problems. First of all, if people have to see your work uh, on a site alone, they can, and you could have room views, you could have detail shots, you could have multiple photos, lots of descriptions, uh, you know, you can, follow them on social, have them follow you, and that's kind of your next best option. However, you have to do a lot of marketing to be found online. If you're willing to do enough to get people to your site, gather their email addresses, keep them coming back, yes, you can make sales there. You can also make sales on third-party sites like Etsy or Saatchi Art. But again, it's, it's only one way of seeing your work, and there's so much competition. If you want to sell originals from your site, that would be great. Whatever your price points are, you can definitely sell those originals. But I want you to think about selling reproductions on your site, especially if they're print on demand or if you're selling other merchandise with your designs on them, such as print on demand wearables or print on demand pillows or other household goods. When you sell those types of products, the print-on-demand provider is accepting the order, providing customer service, printing the order, shipping it out. They're doing the lion's share of all of the work in delivering that. You as the artist would be uploading your image and you'll be doing some marketing to get people in the door and interested in your work. However, what you make from each sale of a print-on-demand product is going to be fairly small. So, Look to see how much can you earn off each sale. The less you earn off of each sale of whatever you're selling, the more sales you need to drive. You've got to drive regular sales to make enough money to really earn a living. If you sell high-end merchandise, well, you only have to sell a few pieces to get you know, what you need on a monthly basis. So I would say that if you're only selling print-on-demand, it's going to be very difficult for you to actually make a living unless you are turning sales very, very quickly. I don't believe most artists are doing that. But if you're looking at selling online and selling in person 
and using those two different methods to play off of each other so that you meet people, pull them into your sphere, or you meet them online, invite them to something that's live, such as a show if you're in their area or if they're local to you, then you're going to have a um, two-pronged way of reaching out to people, helping them learn what, what it is that you do, helping them to fall in love with your work, get to know you as a person and want to buy from you as they get to know, like, and trust you and want to become your collector.